And Whittacombe spoke to Express and took issue with the Sussex's victim mentality and said the couple continue to moan despite being privileged beyond belief. Ms Whittacombe added Prince Harry was very damaging to the royal family and disliked how the Duke continued to attack his relatives despite leaving the institution. The ex-conservative MP feared, in the end, people would simply laugh at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle as she says things will begin to crumble around the couple. Ms. Winnicombe was asked for her views on Prince Harry and Meghan after Ofcom did not uphold complaints made against Piers Morgan's on Good Morning Britain. She said, on a more serious note, I think Harry is very damaging to the royals, he must be personally very hurtful to the Queen. And I think they should keep quiet, I mean they are privileged beyond belief and they moan that they were cut off financially. What a joke, $11 million California mansion, and it's just unbelievable. They are privileged, they are professional victims. They are professional whingers and having said that they wanted privacy they've done nothing except publicize every last detail of life. Ms. Whittacombe concluded, in the end, many people will simply laugh at the couple. Despite Mr. Morgan's departure from GMB, the Sussexes have not avoided criticisms on the program. Host Richard Maitley took aim at Prince Harry and Meghan during a debate on the M25 climate change protesters and said those promoting big issues should practice what they preach. He told the show, I think it's when people are in a position to lecture us go and do something different. I'm thinking about Harry and Meghan who about a year and a half ago, two years ago, made a big deal about not flying. And at the same time, they were kind of flying down to see Elton John on his private jet and making other flights. Harry made a flight to go to a sports tournament the other day and then flew back. Ms. Whittacombe was then asked her thoughts on the Ofcom decision against Meghan Markle. She said, Oh I'm cheering, cheering. I have tried to keep my express column as much as I can a Sussex free zone because they thrive on the publicity. But I'm making an exception on this occasion because I'm positively cheering. I think it is high time Meghan was cut down to size, I think she's had the most dreadful influence on Harry. If ever I made a prediction that was true it was the one that I made on Big Brother and was reviled for the time when I said she could be trouble. Well, I don't think anybody's wondering why I said that. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle left the royal family in January 2020 to pursue an independent life away from the institution. But the Sussexes noted they needed to raise money to support their lifestyle after Prince Harry revealed during his Oprah Winfrey interview he was financially cut off. He told Oprah, We've got what my mum left me, and without that, we would not have been able to do this. We hadn't thought about, money, there were all sorts of different options and look, from my perspective. All I needed was enough money to be able to pay for security to keep my family safe. Since leaving the royal family, Prince Harry has signed deals with streaming giants Netflix and Spotify, joined mental health coaching company BetterUp, helped organize VaxLive and has been involved in the charitable ventures backed by his company Archul. Prince Harry was recently defended by Democrat Ruben Gallego after the Duke was attacked for his recent Time magazine cover. Political commentator Matt Walsh tweeted out the photo and called Prince Harry a beta male to which Mr. Gallego retweeted and said, there was a bounty put on Harry's head when he served in Afghanistan as an attack pilot. He chose to still go. That doesn't sound very beta to me. Biographer Omid Scooby also defended Prince Harry when his Armchair Expert podcast was released. He tweeted, as Mental Health Awareness Week ends, perhaps the past 24 hours can be something we all reflect on? A mental health activist opening up about their own experiences, only to be torn apart for doing the thing that so many are working tirelessly to destigmatize. This is not progress.